So we evaluated Axicel or Axicaptogen Cellulucel or Axicel in short, which is an autologous CD19 CAR T cell therapy product that has a CD3 zeta, CD28 signaling domain which eliminates CD19 expressing tumor cells when administered to the patients. See, we evaluated this XSL in patients with refractory, aggressive B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma that have a significant unmet clinical need. These patients, when they fail standard frontline and salvage chemotherapy, they have a median survival of only six months, and um, uh, uh, current therapies have an overall response rate of, of only 26% and a complete response rate of only 8%. So we designed a, a multi-center clinical trial called the Zuma-1 trial with Axisol in this patient population. So the phase two trial had two cohorts. Cohort one included patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and cohort two included patients with transform follicular lymphoma and primary metastinal B-cell lymphoma. To be eligible for this trial, the patients had to have chemotherapy refractory disease, which, is, which was defined as no less response to the last chemotherapy administered or relapse within 12 months after autotransplant. The primary endpoint for the trial was overall response rate, and secondary endpoints included uh, progression-free survival, overall survival, and the complete response rate. So we enrolled a total of 101, 111 patients across 22 different sites. Uh, the product was manufactured for 110 of 111 patients for a manufacturing success rate of 99%. And the average time for delivery of the product from the time of leukophoresis to the uh, clinical site was 17 days. So after the receipt of the CAR T cell therapy brought uh, back to the hospital, the patients received con conditioning chemotherapy with cyclophosphamide and fludarabine for three days, and two days later were admitted to the hospital to receive the XSL infusion at a target dose of two million CAR positive cells per kilogram body weight. So we observed uh, the study met its primary endpoint uh, with a p-value of less than 0 0.0001 in the combined group of cohort one and two with 101 patients that have been treated. The overall response rate was 82% and the complete response rate was 54%. And at a median follow-up of 8.7 months, 44% of the responses were ongoing with 39% being in complete remission. And the median survival has not been reached to date. We did observe some common side effects uh, that are known to develop with CAR T cell therapy. The two known common side effects, the cytokine release syndrome and neurological uh, toxicity. Grade three or higher cytokine release syndrome was observed in 13% of the patients and grade three or higher neurological toxicity was observed in 28% of the patients. But these uh, side effects were generally reversible. There were three grade five uh, adverse events, one G2, one patient died of hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis, and the second patient died of cardiac arrest in the setting of cytokine release syndrome. Both were thought to be related to the XSL infusion, and the third patient died of an unrelated cause um, due to pulmonary embolism. This XSL is a significant advance um, for these patients with significant uh, unmet med medical need. Um, at a median follow-up, 44% uh, of the responses are ongoing. The product is now being uh, has been submitted to the FDA for to get to gain approval uh, for, uh, and we hope that this this will become a standard of care in the near future.